Hi guys, welcome back to the Retro Asylum YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the 1981 game by Universal called Cosmic Avenger. Now the reason we're doing this is because in the latest podcast episode of Retro Asylum we looked at the ColecoVision, a system that features an arcade conversion of Cosmic Avenger. Now the ColecoVision game, really playable quite easy to be honest. This is a whole different ball game. Now what's interesting about this game is its release date, 1981. Now there seems to be some confusion about whether, whether this came before Scramble or afterwards and it turns out it is actually afterwards. Now this is quite important because it's very very similar in gameplay terms. Also it came after Defender and the reason I mention that is because this game features a very similar map, i.e. scanner, in-game, like Defender did, to tell where the enemies are. But this only highlights certain enemies. Anyway, let's take a look at the game and see what you think. So, Cosmic Avenger is actually the 8th game in Universal's Cosmic series, which started off with Cosmic Monsters, which itself was a clone of Space Invaders. So, it's kind of fitting that the series ends with another clone of a popular arcade game of the time. <laughs> One of the major differences between Cosmic Avenger and Scramble that strikes you first is that Cosmic Avenger uses a horizontal monitor rather than vertical. This gives the player a lot more on-screen real estate which you would imagine would make the game feel a little easier than Scramble, but as I'm quickly finding out, it isn't the case. <laughs> As a fan of Scramble and someone who really likes the Coleco version of Cosmic Avenger, I was really looking forward to trying the arcade version. However, I'm finding it way too difficult to be enjoyable. In fact, it's one of the most frustrating games I've played in a while. Like Scramble and most other horizontal shoot 'em ups, your ship can be moved in eight directions. However, the further you move to the right of the screen, the faster your ship starts to move. Move back to the left of the screen and your ship starts to slow down. You have two weapons, guns and bombs. Unlike Scramble, you do not have to worry about your fuel level. Bombing is purely used to kill enemies. The speed of your ship also affects the way that your bombs fall. If you are moving slowly then the bombs will fall directly below you. Move faster and they will fall at an angle. This makes bombing enemies very difficult at times and is very different to the physics used in Scramble. <laughs> Remember that I mentioned a scanner that's very similar to the one from Defender? Well, you'll need to keep an eye on it and look out for the warning text that appears next to it on the right as the flying bad guys tend to have a kamikaze approach of dealing with you. Did I mention the heat seeking missiles? Ah! Plus, if that isn't hard enough, touch an explosion and guess what? You go up with it. Cosmic Avenger feels like it should have been a great game. Possibly even better than Scramble itself, but it's difficult to see and certain elements of this design end up making it feel like a missed opportunity. It's not often I will say this, 
But when it comes down to gameplay, it's probably best to stick to the Coleco version. Oh, I've made it onto the next level. Right, I'm in the water. You become a submarine. Yeah. 